Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this design right here. It's another scalable location design, another popular style. This is a quick video, so if you wanna learn how to do this, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so here I am on Canvas homepage. I am going to be making another scalable location kind of design. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit different than the last one. So let's go ahead and hit custom size here. And I'm gonna pick 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. As usual, I will be optimizing my design for the darker color shirts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set black as my background color. Um, now this one, I'm going to do a Hawaii state shirt and it's going to be pretty simple. So I'm just gonna start with a text box. It's gonna be all caps and I'm gonna put Hawaii. And now part of the ways that I'm gonna make this different is going to be with some of the letter spacing is going to be a little bit variable. And I'm gonna show you how you can get sort of a cool tribal design in the center. So I've got my Hawaii. I'm gonna pull up another text box here. I'm gonna put Aloha State because it is Aloha State. Oops. And I'm gonna shrink that one down and it's gonna go down here and then I'm gonna put one more text box and this one's just gonna say the year so again this is stuff that you can just kind of look up in your research but the year for Hawaii would be like an established in 1959 so 1959 is when Hawaii became a state and so it's gonna go something like that down here and this is gonna be kind of my layout for the design now um, I may need to pick some fonts. What do I got? Canvas Sans actually works pretty well for what I have here. So what I might do is make it a little bold, make it a little bit bigger, but not too much bigger. And then I'm gonna space it out more. So I'm gonna go up to the top where it has spacing. I can click that. And now I can bring that letter spacing way out so that it fills the top of the page that way and so that's another style you may see where the, sort of those line spacings are a little bit farther apart um, I mean I could do that down here as well if I wanted to kind of keep that simple and if I wanted to bring that letter spacing out just a little bit I could I'd have to bring that out like that but that's a nice easy way to do that I'm going to keep this nice and small down here Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to do the graphic portion now that I got the basic layout. And so that's pretty easy to do. I've got my layout and in the middle, what I'm thinking is I'm going to do a sea turtle with a little bit of a, a tribal circle. So I want a tribal turtle and a tribal circle. I want it to give that kind of, you know, Polynesian tribal style design. So let's just go with tribal sea turtle. And there's all sorts of really cool graphics for tribal sea turtles here. So I do like a lot of these and you can pick any one that you want really. So just kind of pick what you like. I'm gonna do this one. You can't even see it. I'm gonna change the color to white here. I'm gonna do this one. You can do any one you like. It's gonna work a little bit better with sort of these solid fins because I'm gonna have the fin sort of overlap my circle a little bit. And so that's just one way. Now I'm gonna start with the turtle straight up and down. I can angle it later, but you'll see when I go to do the cropping of the circle how this is gonna work. So I'm now going to look for a tribal circle. And again, it's always easier to design smaller and then make it bigger than to you know make it big and then not have room. So start off kind of small and then we can always group things together and move them where we want them. So let's look for some different cool tribal circles. And there's a bunch, there's more tribal turtles there. So tribal circle. Okay, so tribal circles, tons of them. I'm gonna go with this one here. I liked that it was a little bit thicker. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna make it, you know, I'm gonna make it a teal color. I wanna be able to see it, but I want it to be a separate color. So I can close this now because I like this one. What I wanna do 
is kind of make the turtle look like he's going a little bit outside of the frame. So something like this. Now that's okay, except that the turtle is clear here. So it's got some cutouts and that has some cutouts. So that's where I'm not liking exactly the way that that's gonna fall on the turtle. So if I was to take the circle now, hit control on my left bracket a couple times just to send that circle to the back, I can now see that the turtle is on top of my circle, but it's kind of cutting into his head a little bit here. So easy ways that I can take care of this, by the way. I'm gonna make this sort of a half circle. So here's what I'm going to do that's gonna look kind of cool. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate my circle. So I'm gonna hit Control D. So now I got my two circles. I'm going to center them so that they're lined up, you know, perfectly. Boom. And now I'm gonna crop my circle. So one thing I can do is double click and I can crop my circle right up to the side of his head. So it's gonna kind of stop right at his head there. Then I'm gonna take the bottom circle double click that and I'm gonna pull this down so now you can see when I pull it down I'm losing this top circle but I'm keeping the bottom and I can pull it into the side so something like that and then I can take that and I can send it to the back a few times I make sure my turtles on the front if I'm not sure I can just grab my turtle and move him to the front there we go. And so that is how I created a cool kind of half circle around the turtle so it's not cutting into his head. Now I could have left the rest of the circle and just left, you know, just taken out the part around his head, but I do kind of like this sort of half circle look. Now, the reason I didn't angle any of this beforehand is because when we crop, we're cropping top to bottom, left to right. We're cropping in squares, not in like diagonals. So it just made sense to do it this way. Now that I have it the way I want it, all I have to do is click outside of the turtle, make sure I go over the whole turtle so I get all the pieces, and then I can group that together. And now I just have my one image. Now what I can do is I can angle my image a little bit so I can make that turtle look like he's swimming and I can resize it. So now I can make that turtle as big as I want. So if I wanted to do something like that, make it look like he's centered more or less in the page, I can do it that way. And again, that looks pretty cool. I can bring this down. I can make that turtle a little bit bigger now. So I do want it to take up a good lot of the page. So, Something like that looks pretty cool. And so that's pretty easy to do. There you go. Now, if I wanted to change the color of the circle to anything else, all I'd have to do now that I have this where I want it, I can hit ungroup. It'll ungroup everything. And then if I just wanted to pick just the circle, for example, and make it like a darker color or whatnot, I could change the color here. Now I'd have to change the color on both pieces. So I'd have to go down to this piece here and change the color too. And that's how I could get sort of different colors going. So there you go. But I could play with the colors however I wanted. So that's a really simple design, but it's another scalable design. So you could do something like this and say, scale this out maybe for different islands. So different tropical locations where you might have, you know, this turtle, this Polynesian turtle. So you could do this for any of the Polynesian countries or whatnot, and just sort of keep the format and scale it out. And again, whenever we're scaling, the easiest thing to do is to take your original design, duplicate it, and now go down here to you know the next one. And I can edit this one while keeping this one the same. So now if I wanted to take Hawaii and maybe even just change this to one of the islands specifically, I could just put like Oahu if I wanted to, or I could go ahead and skip Hawaii and go with like Tahiti and down here, French Polynesia and whatever date I want. And so lots of different ways that you can scale this out. Again, you don't have to copy this exactly, but I wanted to give you guys ideas of things that you could do, different 
formats and layouts that are popular and different things that you can scale out. So I'm not encouraging anybody to just copy this design and have 50 billion of this design up on Amazon or wherever, but I wanna show you guys how you can go about doing these things. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you guys as quickly as I can. I hope your first quarter is off to a good start and I do hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.